Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the studio. Uh, I'm just doing some uh, small kiln fillers now. These uh, large, crusty, gnarly pots are uh, drying out now. They're almost dry. I'm just waiting for a plate to dry. So uh, in the meantime, I'm doing some um, little kiln fillers to pass the time while I wait for them to dry. Uh, and then we'll uh, get into the firing cycle. So today I am decorating these little vases see them there. We've got iron oxide and cobalt. Um, someone asked me this weekend, I've just done a show this weekend which is really good, uh, at uh, Charmwood in, Le in, in Loughborough in Leicestershire and it's a one day event, really good, marketplace, so you get the, the general public get to come rather than a paid public who know what they're getting, you're getting to see the general public and sort of educating them a little bit on ceramics. You get to talk to some people who don't know that much about ceramics and it's really good, really, really sort of uh, informative for them, hopefully, fingers crossed. And I was asked by someone, uh, do you, do, oh, I love your landscapes, but, you know, uh, do you do classes for landscapes? And I thought, oh, no, no. <laughs> when you watch me uh, ham-fistedly doing this, uh, you know, they're better off to make it up as they go along. Uh, I don't teach that kind of decorative uh, work. I'm pretty rubbish at it. I can do what I want to do and get the results that I want, but uh, I'm not a painter. Potter. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm just uh, decorating these uh, little vases, these little uh, flower vases, if you like. They're going to have a landscape effect on them. Um, the first part I put on is um, is the cobalt for the sky. It's two thirds of the way up. What I've done with this as well is I was getting it uh, crawling on this when I just put pure cobalt on it. It sort of it stayed a little too dry when um, when I've glazed them when they fired it was crawling. So what I've done is I've added some slip, added some ball clay to it. Keep them this way up. If I do it that way it gets runs so put the sky on first. Yeah I've um, just back this weekend from a one day show down at uh, Loughborough in in Leicestershire which is always a good show. There's usually about 45 potters there, but there was 80 this year. They've increased the numbers. And uh, the sun was shining. It made some nice sails. Uh, it was always a good day out. So that's the top part. Uh, what I've got here is uh, my Blue Peter moment, the one I prepared earlier. This is dried a little bit. I'm trying not to let them dry too much because I've got to put some slip on. Uh, so this is the iron oxide. Uh, just undulate it a little bit to give it a kind of hilly broken effect. Um, I don't like straight lines in anything. These are cut straight off the wheel if you can see it there. The, 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 I use a wiggle wire, a wa wavy wire. Cut them off. I shall just thumb this edge off here. Just, and just turn the edge just to crisp up this bottom line so I know where to glaze to. So that's that part done there. And now this is a white slip. This It's uh, one part china clay, one part ball clay with an added 10% quartz to stop it from um, shrinking and falling off. I'm just going to try and do this with a with a wet part here, and I can see it there. I'll just put a wave on. This is the, these are the clouds. And that's it finished. So it doesn't today. Slightly different angle for you here. Just uh, 
simplicity in itself. Try not to do anything complicated. Uh, one more. Oh, we're in shot. That's it. I'll just do that bit. Now I'll just do the clouds. Nothing too precious. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna I'll just quickly run out tool over the bottom there when they drop on dry. And clean them up, that's it. Just a quick look at the finished article. Right, that was that this morning, uh, this morning's little job. Um, pots are still a little bit too dry, there's a big plate I'm waiting to dry out so I'm going to put that out in the sun this afternoon because it looks like it's not going to rain and see if we can't uh, hurry up the drying process and then uh, biscuit fire this week and then the glaze fire next week and then it's off to Scotland in June so uh, okay I'll see you next time